Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to another video. Uh, today we have a new SBC to open up. Today is going to be for the 84 plus times five. Uh, we have both of the reviews out for Haji and Zamrota. Haji, I'm going to do probably like 10 minutes after one o'clock because we just finished his review because um, I just got home. But yeah, we're going to go ahead and open these packs. My boy's working with almost a full meta team, to be fair. Guys, how long is Nuno Tavares out for still? Didn't do his review because that whole two weeks, honestly, the last three weeks, motivation has been kind of a low do uh, some of the videos and stuff, but it happens sometimes. You got like a dry spell for certain things. But um, yeah, let's go ahead and see what. Wait, you can do this repeatable times three. Oh, I guess it's repeatable times three. I don't know that. Repeatable times three. Inform. Okay, 84 rated inform there. What else we got? Okay, nice little, nice little cheeky fodder. Put some music here for my chat. Next up, oh, whoops, 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 whoops. Going back, going back. There we go. Is Ronaldinho my favorite player? No, my favorite player is Quaresma. Quaresma is my favorite. Hey, Chuck Weze. Who remembers that? Uh, was it a Future Stars last year? I think it was. Oh, Neymar just chilling in there. I mean, it's a W for someone like starting off. I mean, Neymar still, Neymar would still be pretty decent, to be honest. What do you mean bad? Because the only other cards that he has are like super expensive, so that's not bad. He actually ends up using it, you know? Ukraine. Okay, cool. Thanks, man. Ooh, do, 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 do. All right, let's see what we got here. Look at Telly. Listen, I'm, I'm going to tell you guys this right now. Like, I'm pretty positive, like, Sandro Tonali would have been the better one to get. Like, if if you had the things back then, you know? I, I even, I, I, can't, I keep saying this to people, but during that review, it's, it's, whenever you hear me say that this card's going to last you a long time, like, it's already meta. Jerzingos, I told people that. Uh, Sandro Tonali, like, Tonali's going to be a card. Like, you don't see Tonali that often because people don't always use Serie A, and a lot of people are very addicted to getting, like, fodder and stuff, you know? But like, if you wanted a guaranteed player that was good, that's that's who you got, you know. That's who you would get. Super, super worth it. Super, super worth it. Bastoni gives you good links too, you know. It gave you great links during that time. That's an L right there. Jay, what's up, bro? How's it going, man? Thoughts on Arsenal winning the league? Honestly, if they win the league, I, I would be pretty content. I'd be content. I don't I don't focus on whether or not like certain fan bases behave a certain way. I couldn't care less, you know? Like football fans in general can be toxic. It doesn't matter what team it is, you know? So if a team wins because the team deserves it, then that's the only thing that's important to me, to be honest with you. Because it goes the same way for like Liverpool fans. It can go the same for like Arsenal. It doesn't matter, right? Jose Sa. Honestly, if I got that for my main account, that'd be a W. First owner, Jose Saw. We're going to use that card towards fodder, but you know the vibes. Those no instructions tactics are my favorite so far. Yeah, it's it's a tactic I reviewed from, um, I think his name is 420 Foot. They're fun, man. They're like very different, you know? Not always like the same meta. That's really good uh, fodder right there, actually. 91 rated. What else does he have in this? Ooh, this was a W one. Wow. Fernando for Sevilla. Sevilla is so weird this year, man. They're honestly so weird. How much does he cost? 86, 56, 55, 50. Yeah, they're they're th the problem with them is that they're super, super weird this year. But this card has potential as a CDM if he gets the right upgrades. But that was a W one. Look at that. That's kind of crazy. Oh, wait, move. Oh, I'm going to put this over here. Going to do the sub sound probably again. Is this first owner Varan? Oh, this guy for sure watched the review. He's like, yep, yeah, Varan goes straight into my team. <laughs> uh, Varan's that guy, bro. Varan is that guy. To be fair, though, he does look like he's somewhat of a Man United fan. Somewhat, somewhat. I like it. I like it. I like it. Spurs Milan. What do you guys think is going to happen in that game? Spurs have been uh, kind of weird recently, eh? Form is one thing, though. I mean, Chelsea beat Borussia Dortmund, and Dortmund's actually having a good season, so, you know. 
He made the 7 0 team, eh, chat? Leon Masterclass. People overhype the Leon to Premier League thing, by the way, a lot. He has to really fit in a specific system for that for him to work in a team. Like, <laughs> you know? Like that 4 2 3 1 for Milan actually works perfectly for him. If Ronaldo Sanchez was in that team, it would actually be really well balanced. True, I really like Leon, but don't think he'd fit at Arsenal because of his lack of defensive. Yeah, I mean, like, if you think about Arsenal's players in the side positions, you can open it while I'm recording. Um, if you think about Arsenal's players in the side positions, they're all players that work throughout the whole game. You, there's not one that's just like a lazy attacker or whatever, you know what I'm saying? Like, they all work. Martinelli, Trossard. Ooh, what's this? Benrama? Okay. I mean, hey, as, as a pack, that's not bad. Not too bad. What else you got? Uh, but yeah, they have a lot of hard workers in that Arsenal team, man. Even if Gabriel Jesus comes back, like he's perfect for striker. Right? So, yeah. Would he work in a team like Chelsea if they're playing like a 3-4-3? Maybe, but at the end of the day, like them playing with Joao Felix in that left wing position kind of makes sense because he kind of plays behind the striker, right? He he, he has to play in, in that false nine role, if that makes sense, right? So that's why he keeps playing him over... Um, Mudrick, because he's very, very good at doing that, right? He's he's good at playing that role in the team. And that's what everybody wants. Like, it's... False 9 is a sick... Is a sick uh... It's a sick, sick thing to work with, in my opinion. Really, really good. Sule. Okay. Oh, thank you for your uh, epic opening, my friend. Ooh, give me that fodder. Very nice. Very, very nice. D10 player. That's just how I am, bro. You know? That's just how I am, man. Is this the first owner? No shot, right? That's a card that just lasts the whole year, too. That's what's crazy. Oh, your circle XX circle. Hmm. It's the freaks, guys. It's the freaks. Uh, ja, what's up, man? How's it going? I couldn't see World's Cup review in your channel. Yeah, I didn't do his review, uh, Tunnel. I didn't do his review. Um, Befica absolutely destroyed Club Brugge. Dude, y your team is weird, though. I don't know why they hired Scott Parker. That that that's not a hindsight thing. That didn't that didn't make sense when it like when it first happened. I don't I don't understand that. I'm I'm pretty positive if you have a different manager. You guys you guys switched your manager at some point during the season. Like was he doing bad because in the Champions League he obviously did well enough. Good fodder, good fodder. Like what happened to you guys like with the with the manager because Scott Parker was a weird person to get uh, in general. It didn't really make a lot of sense to get. like it's not a hindsight thing. Like it just did not make sense to get him. They didn't get scored on until Porto. Yeah, I know. In the, in the last game, exactly. Was it the last game? Yeah, I think it was the last game. We scored like, what, four or five against them? I forget. I think it was four. I think we scored the same amount as they did against us during that time. These are W's, chat. This is actually pretty good. Not bad. You know what I'm saying? So it just depends. Like, we'll see if they, like, if they, if they get the faces, like, it doesn't really matter, you know? This is a cool team. I like this team. Nice team. Very nice team. Mbappe is just so different, man. I'm telling you. Depay SBC. Depay's pretty cool. If you can actually complete him, like, normally, he's he was up there in price, but he's actually pretty good in game. It's not bad. Just up there in price. What do we got here? Where, where is it at? Where is it at? Oh, oh. What is it again? 84. No, that's not it. Five. Oh, you just have the one, right? 584 plus. Okay. Mbappe getting the next player of the month again. It's so weird for me as like a content creator to unlock Mbappe when I already have Mbappe. It's so weird. I'm gonna put the I'm gonna put the player of the month Mbappe into the new Mbappe just to get the new Mbappe. <laughs> so so weird. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, it's weird. If, if if Mbappe gets player of the month again, it's just like it's it's strange because you <laughs> you already have Mbappe, you already have the good version of Mbappe, but then you just get the better version of Mbappe. And I don't think they're gonna do anything too unique with it. You can open it, brother. So it just uh it depends it depends. I got the Lakers one, I'm chilling. The Lakers one. Uh-huh. 
Yeah, you're chilling, bro. The Lakers one looks cool. I think that's the 97, right, Big? I think so. 96, 97, something some like that. Next Mbappe, as we see, will cost 4 mil. Probably, bro. There goes all my fodder again. <laughs> I prepared in advance, though. I preferred in advance. So good, man. My Pokemon Yellow, I had Pokemon Yellow at some point, and uh, honestly, I don't know where I went. No idea. Look at this ticket, this guy's team. Oh, really? Oh, there's some smokes. Pretty meta, pretty meta. I mean, it's our, it's I, you know, it's I, I. A Grudon, I had Sapphire. Yeah, Sapphire was sick. I think when they, they did the remastered games, I think it was just the green one and the red one when they remastered it for the DS. I think so. Dude. You know what's crazy is that it doesn't even feel that long ago, man. Like, when I'm, I'm talking about this stuff as if it was, like, two years ago. Like, bro, this is, like, how long? I'm 27, so, like, it's been, like, a solid, what, seven years, maybe? Like, something like that? Maybe more, dude. Because I bought my DS when I was, like, still working retail, I think, bro. So that was, that was like, a long time ago. But, man, good times, bro. Like, honestly, handheld devices is definitely, it. like, when you're a kid... I think having Nintendo Switch is definitely the play. You know, just having handheld is like, when you're a kid, it's the best thing ever, bro. I, I think it's better than consoles. Like you can get a console and it's great, but like there's so many games you can cross play now with Nintendo Switch that it's so sick. So many different games, man. It's dope. Fire, red, leaf, green, soul, silver, heart, gold. Ben Rama again, nice, 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 nice. Uh, are you still alive in there? I get through with the motions and reviews, uh, but you got to give us the occasional EA rant to let us know you're still good. The rant? No, I don't. I don't rant because I don't play the game normally, right? Nuno Valentair. Yeah, Nuno Valentair, bro. Nuno Valentair. Yeah, yeah, I don't. Um, yeah, old Pokemon games are selling for easily 150 pounds plus. Yeah, they are because they're still sick games, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, they're they're awesome games. Stop. Yeah, they're sick, man. I would I would play them right now, honestly. You know what I've been playing recently, though? I, I I actually been playing this game recently, and it's really fun, bro. It's the mobile game, Pokemon Unite. Is it Unite? Bro, that game is great, man. I've been I've I've been really enjoying that game. It's been really fun to play. It's been really fun to play, man. I, I enjoyed it a lot. I like that that the different Pokemon have like their own abilities and stuff. So sick. I really like it, man. Okay, guys, so we'll call it there. Um, I always make these types of videos to show people what the pack weight is like for these things. Um, it's usually mostly for fodder for the most part, but some people actually pack some pretty decent stuff. So, yeah, just uh, wanted to post the video. See how I want to see how well it does on YouTube, because if it gets like over 10K views, then I don't mind it for like the hour and stuff that we uh, kind of chill it on stream and just open these, thing these things. Right. So but um, uh, I need to do Zambrota waiting for your review. You guys got to check the YouTube channel, bro. It's already there. <laughs> Imagine this guy's been here the whole time. He's like, uh, Inception, you gonna do the reviews? Both of them are out already, bro. I did the reviews in advance because they were leaked earlier. So, yeah. Anyways, thanks for watching the video, guys. I'll catch you guys for the next one. Peace out, dudes. Love you guys.